Hey guys, Logan Williams here with the Barrel Recording Studio. Uh, I got another Cubase 5 tutorial to show you. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the tape stop effect, um, which is just imagine an old record player that, you know, for whatever reason the turntable stops working and it just slowly winds down and it gets long and slow and the pitch goes down with it. Um, that's tape stop. A lot of times bands will come to me and they're like, you know, can you just make that part? You know, there's not enough happening or, you, you know, I want this to build here or whatever. A lot of times they don't really know what they want, but this is, you can just kind of throw a few weird ideas at them. A lot of times they do like the tape stop effect. A lot of times I'll use kind of a reverse reverb. I'll do the stutter effect or if it's a big heavy part, throw in like a bass drop for them or, you know, whatever. Just kind of mess around with a few, with a few things. So this isn't a bad one to have in your arsenal of uh, just weird, goofy crap, basically. <laughs> Um, so what I got here pulled up is uh, a buddy of mine. I, I recorded and mixed this for him with him. Um, but anyway, here's what it sounds like before. So we're just going to take that last ring out and then hit, and we're just going to put that tape stop effect on it and just kind of see what happens. It's probably not a good application for it in this instance, but I figured what the hell. So anyway, so just, uh, you know, take the last hit wherever you want it, highlight it, go up to audio, then process, then pitch shift, and that's going to open up this transpose tab, which we're not transposing. We are going to envelope it. So, this graph represents your clip, and this line represents the pitch of that clip. So, when it's right in the middle, this is exactly where, you know, your recorded pitch is at. So, what we're going to do is grab it and bring it all the way down. So, that's kind of like, you know, it's going to pitch it down throughout as the clip runs. This time, another thing to uh, take note of is this time correction tick box. Um, if you keep that on and then we go ahead and process this, it's going to pitch down, and it, but it's going to be the same length. You know, you're not going to get that slow winding down effect. Um, so we're going to keep the time correction off so that, you you know, like I said, like an old record player kind of winding down, same kind of thing. We'll process it. Okay, let's give it a listen. <laughs> like I said, it sounds kind of weird in this instance, but one thing you can do, which I do every once in a while, like I said, sometimes bands are like, hey, can you throw something in there, make it, you know, whatever. Um, so I will do the tape stop effect, and then you grab it, audio, process, and then I'll reverse it. And then, uh, see in this instance, we'll just take that crap out, put a fade on it. Um, open fade editor, there it is, okay. And then, you know, kind of make it like a swoopy fade. And then this would be an instance where it would go into like a big heavy part or something, just like a build, you know. So I hope uh, hope you feel comfortable with the tape uh, the tape stop effect, and uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to comment me, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.